Welcome back. We're back on our washing machine motor which we repaired a while ago and the problem is that this magnet ring for the encoder uh, suffered from heat and I noticed that when I fixed it uh, so it hasn't got enough tension to stay on there and it fell off twice so I thought I'm gonna change that <coughs> a little bit. So what we're gonna do we take the rotor out drill a hole and put an aluminium spacer and uh, and a bolt into the shaft it just doesn't clamp anymore I don't know if it's visible but the serrations here are a bit molten away that happened when the bearing seized up on the back and it was okay for a year but now it starts falling off again so uh, we take it apart put it into a lathe and uh, just send it with it and put probably an M4 or something like that with an aluminium washer on the back which fits into that recess and then should be fine so let's do that I'm not going to show how to dismantle the motor I've done that before I put a link in the description below um, if anyone wants to see the rest of it well it looks like the bearing is cooked again on the back here mm, shit quality bearing that's the problem Okay, let's put that into the lathe, send it with it, and do what we want it. If there is no center, just put the center drill in the middle and turn it. And if you see a dot, like so, I don't know if it's visible, uh, you're in the middle. So steady is tightened up. Let's drill a center hole and then just drill it for the, I think I go for an M5 because it's easier to tap, M4 is a bit, nah, okay, yeah, and uh, once we've done that we're going to change the bearing as well just to make sure everything is fine. Like, luckily it stopped. Yeah. Clear out of the way here. And luckily it stopped the material. A lot of play in the, in the quill here. So, yeah, you get the idea. Just let's finish that. I know what the back. Okay, center is good. And. Uh, now let's drill the hole. Four millimeters. This stuff is really soft. Now let me get some oil. And we'll be back. So we're almost in, but I, I'm going to use a hand wrench now. We just had the. Um, tap in the chuck and, and just turn it in but I, I'm almost there so I want to be careful because you got a lot of leverage on the, on the chuck here. Let me get a hand wrench and then we'll tap it through and then drop it on. So it seems to fit. It's good enough, it's deep enough as well. So now we need to get the bearing off. Uh, put a new bearing on and also make a small aluminium washer to hold that in because it's a magnet so you don't want to have steel there because it may it dis might disturb the magnetic field so the encoder doesn't see the speed. Alright, let's uh, take it out here. So we're just making the spacer uh, that's going to be 8mm and the outer diameter we need to check. Uh, all I had was a piece of square stock. Um, so we're going to make that round now and uh, drill it with 5 millimeters. So we got it done, so it fits perfect. Now we're going to part it off, ah, drill the hole first, and then we're going to part it off and uh, shut down. So it's just parting this thing off. Okay, 
Here we have it. Okay, let's get rid of the blur and fit it. So here we have it, new bearing, um, aluminium piece and a stainless bolt which is non-magnetic. Should do the job. Uh, let's put it back together. So here we go. All good. All back together. I know it's a bit hard here but doing the proper speed steps. As you can hear, it's a bit cling when the... Yeah, you can hear it because it's just a cling and the magnet came out. Sounds all right to me. Happy? Yes. Yes, my dear. Alright. Another one fixed.